Hey, this is Paul Payton with Focal Splash, and I was asked to show what I would do to extend this background um, and this image, and basically replace this these sections here uh, that where the background isn't. So that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> Okay, first thing I'm going to do is duplicate the background. Why? So that we have a before and after, and so that we can save that just in case we need to go back to it for some reason. Um, next thing, I'm going to make a quick selection with a quick select tool um, around the subject. I don't need to select that part, but especially over here, and holding the Alt key down, and deselecting here. That should do it. And on this side, we'll go ahead and make a selection of them. It's a fairly easy selection right there. And we'll just check the selection and finish it up by going into Select and Mask. And uh, we'll just select our eye there just for fun. OK, uh, so what we need to do is look at these edges here and see if we have an adequate selection. It's just going to be replaced with that gray background. So I'm going to hit Alt here. You know, this is a little extra. There's no need to do that. Holding the space bar dragging down to take a look at all the edge and there's plenty of edge there that looks fine that looks fine we don't even need that part we're looking right down here on his leg and I'll hit X to, to reveal the background and uh, it looks like I'm just gonna add a little bit right here just to make that leg look right and maybe a little bit right here get that highlight there on his leg like that and then take away this added part right there control Z holding the alt key take it there alright and then I'm gonna put it up on a new layer with layer mask just like that and zooming out I'm gonna press control zero and zoom out like that and then so we have them up on their own layer so now what we can do is grab the new layer right underneath here and with the clone stamp tool at first we'll probably use the clone stamp and the healing brush to so smooth things in with the clone stamp tool first i'm going to hit s to get the clone stamp and then hold the alt key down and choose this uh, let me choose this right here all right and then i'm just going to paint pretty smooth pretty smooth uh, paint here and what about i'm just going to hold back here again and the beautiful thing about clone stamp tool is that it actually just copies pixels so alt click there we go copies pixels so we just have to copy them i zoom in just a little bit like that, and then move down so we can see as well. The clone stamp head. What I'm going to do at this point is check one check the spot lines. When it's aligned, you can see it starts copying everything in a line way. When it's not aligned, then it's checking all this. When I paint again, it paints from the spot. I start going to paint again, so now I'm going to see the head come up. All right, so I'm going to right here. All right, I'm going to hold the down right there, and everything like this. You know, it doesn't look that great right now. Really well. All right, there we go. So just when the clone stamp has a texture, I don't want to just put a brush color out there. And clone stamp, alt. Wow. Only okay. You know, it's that other tutorial that the uh, keyboard doesn't respond perfectly well while recording. That's some issue that happens with a lot of people. You know, this cloud thing is what we're looking for. And I'm going to say, yeah, that's what we're looking for. So, um, holding the and continuing. Just go ahead and finish up here. All right, like that. All right, so there we have it. It's perfect, right? Actually, what we're going to do now is I'm going to turn this layer off. And you can see what we did. We painted over the edge of the person. We don't really need to do that much, and that's fine. So we painted over her edge here a little bit. And that's important because now we're going to use the healing brush, which is the J right here, this one right here. And I'm going to select from right here, Alt, select, thank you. And I'm just going to paint right this. Now what it's doing is it is um, just taking the texture and blending the colors with the texture. So we're going to have a nice smooth, but yeah, textured uh, background here when we're done. I keep selecting again. We don't really need to uh, just have it. As long as I pick up the pin and put it back down, or the mouse and put it back down, it will select from the same spot. All right, I like that. And the reason that we needed to cover her up a little bit is if we didn't, then it would blend her hair in with it, and we'd end up seeing the blending right here. You know, and we, we don't want to blend her in with it. Um, let's turn it on, turn that off, Control Alt Z Z like that. So when I blend over here, it's going to make a nice smooth blend 
behind her. Oh, I don't really want to do that. Just in case that pops out. And just stay away from the edge. And then when we turn this layer on, you can see nice smooth blend. So zooming back in with the space and the control key like this. And then I can move over and just, I don't know, I don't know why I'd like it. I like this this way better. Looking at it kind of bigger and almost centered on the screen. All right. So just a little bit more, smoothing this out. All right. Maybe make the brush a little bit smaller. Try to smooth this out. And just in case it shows. All right, I think we're going to be looking pretty good here. All right, so there's a background, a textured, um, pixeled background, not uh, not just painted in. Um, it's really the background that was there, just stretched across and blended with the healing brush. All right, so we turn this layer back on. Oh, I missed a spot. All right, so then we're going to zoom in here and going to turn it off again. I'm going to hit the clone stamp. Grab right here. Grabbing right here. And painting there. Just making sure and I'm going to just blend that in. Grabbing there and blending it in so that we don't see any edges of the clone stamp tool. And then turn it back on. All right, and the selection is right here, the, the mask. And with this, I can see that there's a, the background was actually darker than, uh, than what it is now because we clone stamped it across. So a couple ways to fix that. I'm gonna make a curves adjustment layer over the background. I wanna match it with this, this line here around her. Just bring the background down until it kind of matches in so we don't have to we don't have to make a better selection because we're lazy like that all right and then put a gradient going this way with a black gradient black to white that'll take off the darkness from this side let's do it from here I'm putting the darkness on that's because I'm using the wrong gradient there we go all right so to do this I'm probably going to just select this out because I don't want it to be. Oh, that's pretty good right there. Yeah. All right. I think that looks really natural. Um, we'll just zoom in here and I'll go ahead and take this mask, take the brush tool, painting with black, soft brown brush. And it's taking a little longer than I expected, but. Uh, Painting about 50% opacity. You can hear a printer behind me, isn't that nice? And painting with black, I'm gonna just make the selection a little more refined here. Really, nobody's gonna see this blurry anyway. Right, going again, I'll go 100% and just take care of that edge. So there's no highlight there. And then just look around the edge here. We still have a darker spot here. I'm gonna go ahead and adjust this. And I think that's going to be good. So, this is uh, one of the reasons why you keep the layer, because we hit Alt key and click on this eye. That's before and that's after. Hey, she doesn't have any hair. I missed that in the selection. So let's fix that. All I have to do is go to the layer mask right here and double click on it. All right, and then painting with even the even the quick select tool. I'm um, just going to paint right here. And that popped her hair back in. Added it back to the selection. Hit X. That reveals the, uh, the selection. Go right up to the edge here. Hit X again. And we're add this to the selection. And what about her ear? There's a little bit of her ear here. And... Oh yeah, that looks great. Okay, 
So then hit OK on that. And we've added that to the selection. And I think that's good. Uh, I'm going to do one more gradient here. Uh, curves adjustment layer. Because I want to. And go down a little bit more. Like that. And I'm going to paint. Normally with a gradient uh, tool. I paint from white to black. So I'm going to go ahead and hit X. And that will switch the foreground colors. And look up here as well. It switched it. You know, so that's that's how you can switch that. And since I darkened it, I want to paint the white <laughs> up like this. Alright. And that only darkened below. It's kind of low. So it left it lighter above and and darker below. Ooh, like that. Alright. We could put that there or we could put it below them. And I'm going to put it above them. And I'm going to make it not so heavy. Something like that. I like that. I think that's going to work. Um, another thing I noticed with the image, and somebody else mentioned it, I, this is extra. You can just go ahead and stop watching now if you don't, if you, if you want. So um, actually, I'm going to turn this layer to um, linear light, make it look really terrible, and then filter and go to high pass. And what I'm looking here for is sharpness. We're going to fake some of the sharpness here. And that, for this image, it's not a it's not a full resolution image. So I'm even going to drop it a little bit lower. Normally it would be higher than that. But OK, like that. And then on this layer mask, we can actually paint the whole thing with black by hitting Control Delete. And that's, that uses the background color and paints. So now it's nothing. And with a brush, soft round brush, I'm going to paint with white. And I'm going to paint it in here 50% just at first. I can hit it twice. So that's a little too much noise around the eye. All right. So what I'm going to do is make the brush a little smaller and just put it right here. Just sharpen the eyes a little bit. Um, sharpen his eyes a little bit the baby's eye and his eyes just a little bit and zooming out just adding a little bit of sharpness so you can turn that off and on you can't really see it in the video at all but adds a little bit of sharpness to the whole image because their eyes are sharper and but not too overdone sharp so that's it if you have any questions let me know uh, you can follow me at focal splash whether it's on Facebook or YouTube and uh, thank you very much Thank <laughs> you.